Hello. Welcome to my channel. I am Benedict Offer. Today is the day we have been waiting for. I will explain to you how we can plant tomato in the laboratory, step by step. So you can see this tomato seedlings. Yay! It smells so nice. Like, they smell so cool. So this tomato seedling is like four weeks old. So you can see they are doing very well. They are healthy. I will take you step by step on how you can plant it and it grows to this level. So first of all, this is the seed. It's called money maker. It's widely used here in South Africa. This is the seed of this tomato. So we all know what tomato is. I don't have to go in details and explain it. We use it in every day. We use it in our salad dressing, in cooking stew, tomato paste. You know what I'm saying? So there's a need for researchers to ensure that we get, we produce more yield, better tomato species, you know? So we really need to, uh, one of the objective is to produce tomatoes that are more resistant to diseases, that can, re can, that can resist pathogens like bacteria, fungi, and etc. etc. So here in our laboratory, we treat this with pathogens, then we extract the leaf, the shoot, uh, the root, and then we use it to do experiments to really figure out what is going on. How does this plant resist? Or how does this plant respond to all those pathogenic effects? So, you remember our population is growing? How are we going to cope? This is one of the ways, doing more researches to produce more tomato, better yield, better resistance, even against drought. Okay, so subscribe to my channel if you have not, but if you have, I thank you very much. Comment, like, support this community let us keep preaching this message let's take plans to the people let us explain okay to the people the need for us to do these studies the need for us to get more funding from the government so that we produce better and more yield and and have more food in the market so watch this video to the end i will explain step by step how it is planted and how it's grown watch the tomato seed uh, is this is called money maker. Uh, it's widely used here in South Africa. First of all, this is my appropriate soil. I actually pasteurize the soil at 80 degrees Celsius or 90 or 70. I don't go above 100 degrees Celsius. Just um, for some time, there was a time we bought some soil that was contaminated with flies. So we started to um, pasteurize our soil. To get rid of any uh, flies that could contaminate our or can interfere with the growth of the tomato. So I put my soil. What I usually do first is I I moist my soil. I have made up this nitro soil. Uh, this nitro soil I usually do it at the ratio of one is to three hundred, like one milliliter of nitro soil and 300 milliliters of water so i've already mixed that so i moist my soil carefully i try my best to soften or break every solid soil i think it's ready it's almost good to go So I fill up my pot with the soil. I fill it close to the top. The second pot. This is pot for, for tomato. It's not the pot you used to cook food at home. I hope you get that. <laughs> She's laughing. When I talk about pots, <laughs> she may think I want to make food. Okay. What I usually do, I make hole. 
where I put my tomato seed. I usually put four in one pot. So, so I take my seed, the first one, it goes in here. Okay. I take the second seed, the tomato seed, it goes in there. Third one, I try my best to make sure that I get one seed per the hole. And the fourth one, I just simply, just close it, gently. It's done. So the second one, make my hole here. Here, here, and here. So I take my tomato seed, I put in here, second seed, in here, and then the seed put here. On the fourth one, I put in here and then I seal it off. So now my water mixed with nitro soil, I put in the mixture. So I pour a lot of water in here because even though my soil is moist. It will still need to soak up a lot of water. So I don't want it to get dry at this early stage. You want to, the seed to have a lot of water for it to germinate. So this is the end of the planting. Um, I will take you through as the seed germinates until when we will use it for our own experiments. This is um, nine days old. Night this old tomato seedling. Okay. Um, it is three weeks old now. So, as you can see, there's no infection. I've already watered it with nitrosol and water. I mix them up once every week. And I usually do it on Monday or Tuesdays. Then you can see uh, it's taking up the water from the top of the from the bottom of the cup. You can see. So. Now the seedlings are four weeks old. They are four weeks old now. You can see they are looking good. No contamination. I just watered it down. They are looking so well. This is seven weeks old tomato. Money maker tomatoes. As you can see, the tomatoes are heady. They are looking so heady. They're growing very well. It's getting enough nutrients, enough light. They're growing very well. So the tomato you are seeing here is eight weeks old. And it's looking good. You can see. They are looking so hazy. Um, so fine. Uh, research shows that this makes seed within 10 to 12 weeks old, they start producing uh, seeds. So what I usually do is I check for um, infections. Uh, it's normally, this money maker is normally affected by the blight diseases. So I always check for yellow spots, uh, symptoms for blight diseases. So if I find out that the plant, there is a yellow spot in one of the seedlings, I just remove that one so that it doesn't contaminate all other seedlings. And then secondly, I check for pests. It's normally affected by aphids, um, hornworms. So if I see a pest, I remove it by hand or I spread insecticide. I don't usually like insecticide. I use hand to remove it. Uh, if you look at here, you will see that uh, it shows that it's about to flower. The flower is about to come out here. 
can see properly here is about to flower this plant is getting matured so now you can see here what i usually do sometimes when they are growing um, out of hands in order to keep uh, to make sure that it keeps growing vertically so what i usually do is that i use this stick this wooden stick to tie it i tie this stick here with i use wool as you can see I tie the wood using a, a wool to make sure that it keeps growing vertically. So that's what I usually do. Okay. So because this money maker, it actually grows so long. It grows so long. Sometimes it can grow up to five feet or four feet tall. So I ensure that the light is here, light is regulated. And the temperature is set at 22 degrees Celsius. It gets light, 12 hours light, uh, 12 hours dark. And uh, this room is controlled, as you can see. Uh, this tomato is not doing badly. It's, it actually smells so cool. So yes, you look for pests, you look for yellowing of the leaf. These are things I watch for. I water it once a week and then give it fertilizer once in every two weeks. Okay, so I don't actually um, put munch here. If it's outdoor, you can actually put munch, munch uh, to make sure that it, uh, the soil returns moist. So another thing you can do is to prune this plant, uh, taking away some, uh, some of the shoots that are not growing normally, you know. So I don't water on the forage because it can lead to contamination of the plant. So you can see I water on the tray, I water on the tray so that the pot has hole underneath so that it can absorb the water from the underneath of the, of the pot. So yeah. So you can see, and uh, we know tomato is a fruit that is so great. If you prune uh, all those uh, shoot that are not growing normally. It's research shows that it makes or it enhances the production of a heavier and bigger fruit. So tomato is a fruit that we cannot do without. We use tomato in in our daily food, in cooking of stew. We use it in making salads. Uh, tomato paste, like it is a food that is being used widely across the globe the globe not only in Africa in Europe and America Asia in other continents so there's a need for us to preserve tomatoes grow healthier ones do better researches on them to produce better tomatoes so as I always say stay tuned on my channel if you have not subscribed please do subscribe to serve it better subscribe um, click the notification button so that each time I put a video, you will see it. We are growing, we are growing, we are above 100 subscribers. There's a hope that we will reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's keep pushing. Stay tuned in my channel. Our Foggin Agenda is here to serve you better. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. Some of the fruit. This is some of the fruit that is being produced. Tomato fruit. Uh, this uh, tomato is almost mature. You can see it's growing very well in the lab in our plant room so stay tuned and keep following